So let's take a look at the weight of the paper in this example. If we fill out the formula, we'll take the size of the sheet of paper we're using, which is 24 by 36, and we'll divide it by the basic size of gloss coated cover weight stock. And that falls into the cover category, and so we'll divide by 20 by 26 because that is the basic size of cover weight paper. In the middle part of our formula, we'll take the number of sheets needed, 117,000 sheets, and divide by 500, and then multiply the whole thing times the basis weight, which is 80 pounds. When we simplify, 24 by 36 is 864, and 20 times 26 is 520. When we divide 864 by 520, it comes out to 1.615384. What I recommend is do all the rest of your formula, and then when you have 1.661, etc. in your calculator, just leave it in your calculator and multiply it times the second and third values. Speaking of those values, 117,000 sheets divided by 500 came out to 234, and then we just carry the 80 pound down. And so what I would do is 864 divided by 520, leave that in the calculator, that 1.661 value, multiply it times 234, and then times 80. You do not want to round any of the values along the way until you get to the very end, and then you can round to two decimal places. In this example, the total weight of these sheets of paper will be 31,103.9989 pounds. And when I round it to two decimal places, it actually rounds up to an even 31,104 pounds. Please note that that is just a coincidence. It will hardly ever happen that the weight of your paper will be an exact pound because we want whole sheets, not whole pounds. And a whole sheet of paper does not have to weigh an even pound. The third step in calculating the price of the paper, or really the first step in calculating the price of paper after you do all the previous steps that we learned in the previous lectures, is to identify the formulas used for either CWT or M sheet pricing. So let's talk about CWT pricing first because you'll use that more often in our class. CWT pricing is the price of paper, or is the pricing of paper per 100 pounds. C stands for 100, like a C note and WT stands for weight. The formula for calculating paper based on 100 weight pricing is the pounds of the paper, so in this example that we just did, the 31,104 pounds, divided by 100 multiplied times whatever the CWT value is. You can't calculate what the CWT value is, it has to be given to you. Maybe it's a dollar a hundred pounds, or a million dollars per 100 pounds. Whatever that value is, you can't calculate it it's just something that you have to be given or you have to find on a pricing list. So let's take a look at this example here. How much does 9,684.27 pounds of paper cost if I tell you that it's priced at $104.25 per hundred weight? The formula that we'll use will take the pounds of paper, in this case 9,684.27 pounds, and we'll divide it by 100 because that's part of the formula and multiply it times the price per 100 pounds, which is $104.25. When you divide 9,684 by 27, you're essentially moving the decimal places two spaces to the left, so it comes out to 96.8427. Multiply that times 104.25, and the cost of this paper will cost, oops, didn't mean to hit, hit that, uh, will end up being $10,095.85. See if you can do this next example on your own. Gavin is purchasing 100,000 pounds of 80 pound Husky offset text. The stock is priced at $65.19 per hundred weight. How much will Gavin pay? Remember, multiply the price of the paper times the pounds divided by 100. 